Is she beautiful? No. Aw. She's ugly. <laughs> no! Like the hag kind of witch? Yeah. Hag <laughs> 11, she be 22. <laughs> Uh, but I would say, do I have to rank them? In ter yeah, I guess in or just in order of gayness would maybe be good. I'm white. I'm white. You're white? No, I I'm white. Dog We're in a cheesecake factory right now. We are. What's your guys' favorite menu item at the cheesecake factory? Shirley Temple. Shirley Temple is just the drink. <laughs> I could think of. I like I like a Shirley Temple too. <laughs> they got rid of it, but I used to I heavy with their lasagna, but they got rid of it. They got rid of the lasagna. They did, yes, the lasagna verde. They got rid of it. They did like a revamp of their menu somewhat recently. That is crazy. Green, green lasagna. Yeah. Green? It was it was green and it was like vegetarian and it was so good. Did it have like a What's pesto it? on it? Uh, I don't know, dude. I just ate it. I don't know what was in it, man. Know. I you just think ate I know it. these things? I get it's it. It's spinach. What is that fucking sauce you said earlier, Hina? Pesto. pesto? No, no, no. The the be bechamel. 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 Yeah, yeah. the bechamel. The bechamel. The bechamel <laughs> test sauce. <laughs> I talked about bechamel. Well, yeah, because Eros was like, oh, my mom made me lasagna and it's really good. And I was like, oh, and she put a bechamel in there. And she's like, I don't know what that is. Wait, why are there two? We're talking about lasagna twice already? Yeah, because that's, I love lasagna, dude. I love lasagna. I love lasagna. She's just like Garfield. I am not Garfield. a lasagna fan, I'm not going to lie. I really? have lasagna right here with me what on my fuck? desk. It's right here. Lasagna is a very comforting thing for me because my mom would make it a lot. Cause, cause, you make one and then you got like dinner for like three more days. <laughs> yeah, exactly, you know? dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I'm surprised your mom wasn't big into lasagna, Mari. Cause didn't you have like a lot of hungry mouths to feed? Yeah. <laughs> it's the I, classic. Well, I guess it's just like. Our upbringing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What Why was like the? Mom make a lasagna, right? What was like the big like the big dump meal where it's like I gotta make a lot of food fast for for hungry mouths right now. Ooh, uh, you know what I remember eating a lot of because we got it from like the food bank. What? Mac and cheese. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, shepherd shepherd's pie. Hmm. That was an easy one. Yeah. But a lot of the times my mom just like, one of the fastest things you can do is like, marinade steaks and mm. cook them the next day. Yeah, like, yeah. Easy. My mom loved to do that, but mm -hmm. uh, always with a potato. I don't think I went a single meal without eating a potato. <laughs> and I got so tired of potatoes. My mom would make baked potatoes like every single night. <laughs> and too. I just wouldn't eat mine and she'd get mad at me and she said, why aren't you touching your potato? And I said, because we have potatoes every single night. <laughs> and she said, you should feel lucky. You should feel lucky that you have potatoes every night. Am I Irish? No, my mom is German. <laughs> yeah. Eat the potato or else. <laughs> my mom would do the same thing. For us, it was always, it was like pasta. And by that, it was like, you know, like the dried pasta and then a jarred sauce. Uh, That's my mom too. And and a big one was would be like marinated teriyaki chicken thighs that were still on the bone. Those were like, a, just you like, you know, throw the sauce in a bag and then, then grill those f***ers up and then like... And then always a baked potato, because it's just, you take the potato and you throw it in the oven, right? Never like a scalloped the potato. The sauce. Never moshed potatoes, mashed potatoes. <laughs> no, no, never. Always a baked I, potato. I, I, my mom made a different kind of potato all the time, but <laughs> I like potato salad. Ooh, like potato salad potato is good. Salad. With uh, lots of dill. Yeah. Yumma potato yumma. Salad. Different, lots of different kinds of potato salad. <laughs> yeah. Mashed potatoes, scalloped potatoes. Mm -hmm. 
uh, home fries. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Hina Ooh, Blast yeah. Twitch Hash channel. Hash browns? Hash browns? Oh, what about, for Christmas, uh, my mom browns. would make Welcome latkes. To Ooh, Bo fun. Twitch Which channel. is more potatoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Is your mom a big Lots fan of five-ish? She, uh, I don't imagine she knows about five-ish. Okay. <laughs> Just making sure. Five-ish is not American. Oh, yeah, we got a dark magician. I don't remember oh, what he does either. Ooh. The dark magician in the, in the dungeons and degenerate gamblers. Yeah, we went, you go into the basement and there's rats and shit mm -hmm. that you have to fight. And you clean them out. And there's a witch and she's a, a huge bitch. Is she beautiful? No. Aww. She's ugly. <laughs> no! Like the hag kind of witch? Yeah. Yeah. Evil hag witch. But I feel bad. Is so. a hag ugly? There's a lot of ugly hags. You guys just only see anime hags. Yeah, exactly. You see, you see adult yeah, anime I'm, women, I'm and you're like, oh my god, hag, hag lover. I would <laughs> an ugly hag. Okay. <laughs> What's the literal ugliest? witch skull? <laughs> Sixty years old, gray and hairs, saggy titties. All of you it. You guys don't know anything. You guys don't know anything about what women love. Yeah, Auntie <laughs> Ethel from Baldur's Gate 3. Nobody even knows. Everybody is so brain rotted. Mm -hmm. Hag love. You guys haven't even seen a hag in your life. You're just you guys haven't an even seen girl. a fing hag whose tits sag down to the floor. <laughs> all right. You haven't seen. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen real beauty yet. You guys are like, oh, oh my god, she's 26 years old. She's such a f***ing oh hag. Oh my god. <laughs> hag love and she'd be 22. <laughs> hag love and she's that 21 so years real. old. Yeah. <laughs> it's so real. They don't know, dude. They don't f***ing know. Oh my god, she's out of Ooh, high school. I hag tier. <laughs> Jeez Louise, dude. Alec tight tits. <laughs> yeah. Real. Exactly, exactly. But imagine stalagmite tits. Well, stalagmite, holy Just, like, fuck. like going up. <laughs> that would be crazy. <laughs> That's like the, the cone bra, the Madonna cone bra. Oh, oh yeah. Stalag stalagmite tits. You know what I had a weird thought about today? What? A lot of the songs used in movies are really old songs, like mm -hmm. Don't Stop Me Now by mm -hmm. Queen. Mm -hmm. And like I thought 80s. this was just because they had the licensing to them already. Mm -hmm. But I watched this video because Like a Prayer by Madonna is in the mm -hmm. new the Deadpool, Deadpool and movie. Yeah. And I watched a video about how they acquired it and they said they went to Madonna's house and asked her because they really wanted the song to be in the movie. They and just, it made me just realized. Yeah, it, it made me just realize that those are just the songs that people making movies know. Yeah, I'm no. Like, why, why don't they use new songs? But it's just because those are the songs that they know. They're like, yeah. oh, you know what would be awesome right here? Being Madonna. Mm -hmm. Because that's like, yeah, that is like the, the reason why it like shifts is because those are the songs that the people Welcome who are making Venus, movies Venus now Venus grew up listening to, to, right? Yeah. So they were making movies in the There's still some. There's still some that uh that use like classical music and shit, right? Yeah. Like That's, uh Well, I think a lot of movies use classical music because they are allowed to mm. without permission. Yeah, public domain or whatever. Yeah. I think it's also better to like not date a movie. Mm. Date a movie? I mm. wouldn't do that. Yeah. I would never do that. I would Why? only ever date a human being. I don't like movies. <laughs> I would never date one. Yeah. It's you do. Of, you do hate movies. I don't like to watch movies. <laughs> she, I love movies and she hates movies. And I'll be like, let's go to the movies. And she'll be like, okay. And then she'll fall asleep after like 30 minutes. <laughs> 
<laughs> you tried. That's where it starts to go downhill for me. <laughs> I know, you tried really hard to stay awake during like, the Batman. I love the best part about a movie is the introduction, <laughs> and then... Because that's the only part you're ever awake for. <laughs> well, course, that's because that's after that, it gets boring yeah because they gotta they gotta hook you in the intro and then it like gets into the boring like establishment part and you're like okay we gotta set and then up the they're world like in an office and they're like doing boring shit yeah yeah and then <laughs> and then and then there's the rising action and then there's the climax and then there's the, the falling and you know the hero's journey or whatever yeah, and it's a commitment it's a huge commitment and like, I'll be sitting there and I'll be watching the movie and then mm -hmm. my thoughts will be going and I'll be thinking about way other things. <laughs> and I'm like, just I have to tell myself, just focus on the movie. But then my thoughts just keep going and thinking about other things. And I'm, I'll be thinking instead of watching the movie, my eyes will be on the screen. But I'm thinking, I'm so excited to go home and eat some rotisserie chicken when I get back. <laughs> I can't wait for this movie to be over. I don't know what I'm gonna scream tonight, and then I'll go through all the options in my head, and I won't be focusing on the movie anymore. Is this and then I'll start daydreaming. I'll be, I'll start daydreaming about like Sonic the Hedgehog. What about where does in the in the gay hierarchy, where how how do Phoenix Wright, Professor Layton, and Danganronpa all relate to each other. Oh, well, they all have the same the child fan base. Mm -hmm. Um, who likes to post about Yaoi on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, but I would say, do I have to rank them? In ter yeah, I guess in or just in order of gayness would maybe be good. Oh, gayness? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well... Phoenix Wright is the most gay. Hmm. The second most gay is Dongan Rampa. Uh huh. And the least gay is Professor Layton because who's gonna be gay? That's true. Luke Professor Layton. Professor Layton. Layton. That <laughs> no, that's wrong. That's problematic. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Luke and Professor Layton. That's is what I'm trying to say. I don't think there's a whole lot of gay going on in Professor Layton. No. I'm sure there's got to be, like, some man that Professor Lane has interacted with, but... The thing is, is that, like, all the Fujoshis aren't smart enough to beat the puzzles in Professor Layton, so they never got that far. <laughs> True. You know? I, I personally, I think that Danganronpa is... It's hard, because Phoenix Wright is really gay, but Danganronpa's also really, really gay. I think that... If I'm using the term gay loosely, as in like, oh, this mm -hmm. shit is gay. Yeah, yeah. I would gay say derogatory, Danganronpa not is gay positive. More gay than Phoenix Wright. But yeah. Phoenix Wright is more like gay, homosexual. homosexual yeah, gay yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Dangan Rump. There's, there's, there's literally like they have made official matching like Miles Edgeworth and Phoenix Wright in wedding rings. Like, that's yeah. how gay that shit is, right? There's, yeah. Extremely. And Dick Gumshoe got him in there for all, like, the himbo bear enjoyers. Yeah, true. Just throw him in there. Just throw him in there. Of... Yeah. I love Dick I like, Gumshoe. Uh, I never know how to pronounce his name. I I even remember watching the anime, but mm -hmm. Godot, Godot. Oh, Godot. yeah. He's definitely he's a you favorite. type of guy. You love people where you can't see their face. Oh, He's, and he's got like lasers coming from he's his chest. Got <laughs> he's got laser <laughs> eyes. He's a sexy man. He's got white hair. He's got laser eyes. Oh, yeah, he likes his coffee black mm -hmm. and bitter because it makes him feel something. And his theme is like this tired cafe jazz music mm -hmm. that is very sensual and sexy. <laughs> he, he would know how to treat a lady right. Who is this guy? Oh, there's Alien Predator. Predator oh, oh, from oh. Alien. Oh, oh, and they gotta save humanity. And they got a Bionicle. No. This is Homestuck. Two. Yeah, this Wait, is the two. sequel of Homestuck. What? No, it's not. It might as well be. In my heart and my soul, it's the same thing as Homestuck. 
Can you stop saying that word? I'm sorry. I'm stop. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Eros. You're hurting me. <laughs> Eros, what happened to you? I can't talk about it. She can't. I can't talk about it. She this can't. This is a space where you're open. She doesn't want to talk about Eridan Empora and Homestuck. What is that? I don't want to. It doesn't matter. She it doesn't. doesn't it's not, not, not Nothing important. matters. It's not important anymore. What's the best Homestuck character? <laughs> None of them. All of them suck <laughs> ass. All bad. They all suck ass. They're equally. all then bad. Then why are you gray? <laughs> uh, because I'm dead. <laughs> Mm, that's interesting. Because you know, I was killed. I mean, Eros, that's, it, it is interesting, though. You know, I did never notice that. I, you ever encountered, like, a, a gray I'm not sharpie gray. every I'm now and again? White. I'm white. I'm white. You're white? No, I I'm white. I kiss dogs on the mouth. <laughs> no, I don't know you're my Chinese, Mari. I'm not Chinese! <laughs> Mari, you're Canadian and Austrian and Australian and Chinese. <laughs> Damn, bitch! <laughs> You're multicultural. You've got a rich tapestry that I is don't the know about history of your life. And Korean, and Turkish, and Californian. True. <laughs> you live in California. Eros, one Eros, time... what sign are you? It was the... Oh, yeah, yeah, Eros, what sign are you? I'm a Leo. Oh, that's fun. Ow. Make a lion noise. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> Get your money up, not your funny up. What funny. sign are you, Mari? Oh, I'm a cancer. I'm so sorry. Are you... Yeah. Is it like terminal? Yo, my man, why you got on that I purse, haven't heard huh? that one before. Huh? I'm the big deal. Don't do that. Come out of the in a bit at you, heard? Get your money up, not your funny up. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Eros! That's Eros! It's literally her! <laughs> it's literally her. Another Mark Tower. Doctor. Yeah, Mari's a Cancer. We're both water signs, that's why we get along so well. Yeah. We make the oceans gray waves. Yeah. We do that. Do you see? Like, like beyond, beyond the shore, does that have reach? Yet the waters ever change, flowing like time. The path is yours to climb. Yeah. I'm not Chinese. It's true, she's Chinese, guys. Xiao Hongshu. That's why she loves Five-ish so much. Five-ish isn't Chinese. He became it, though. You, how do you just... You can't become Chinese in a month. <laughs> Many, if you can, many years ago, I was Chinese. That then, was many years ago. Many years. Well, then maybe he's working towards becoming a naturalized Chinese citizen. Maybe he identifies more with the culture. Mari owns he's a Walgreens. He's a United States $5 bill. How will he identify with the culture of China? He's not even legal tender there. He doesn't even count. He's not even real. <laughs> China doesn't care about five-ish. <laughs> They'll never accept five-ish as one of their own. That's so sad. Five one to USD is 0.7 USD. <laughs> if he changes to five Chinese one, he's going to be worth less. <laughs> he's going to be worth Way less. Cents. 